Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is a video lesson about how to find the area of a shaded region. So, what you're going to do is you're going to take some notes with me on the first page, and then you have a chance to pause the video and try some problems on your own, and then at the end you can see how you did. Alright? So, all the problems that we're going to focus on are going to involve two-dimensional shapes. So, let's just quickly review uh, some of the formulas that you probably learned in class so far. So, to find the area of a rectangle, we know that the area is going to be length times width. So if you please write that in, that'd be great. And then to find the area of a parallelogram, we know the area is going to be base times height. And then to find the area of a triangle, we know it's going to be area equals the base times the height, but then we divide it in half. So we divide it by two. And then to find the area of a trapezoid, we know the area is going to be base one plus base two divided in half and then times the height. And then finally, to find the area of a circle, we know the area equals pi times radius squared. All right, so we're gonna use these, um, all these formulas throughout the activity. Um, so let's take, first take a look at this first one. So it says determine the area of the shaded region. So what I mean by that is I wanna know the area of kind of the gray part of this image. All right, so not the, the white in the middle, but just the gray part, all right? So if you think about it, imagine if I took this whole entire image, if I could cut out the white rectangle in the, in the middle, what would be left over, right? And yep, it would be the part we want, right? So I need to subtract the area of the inside rectangle from the entire big rectangle, all right? So for this one, I'm gonna use the formula for area of a rectangle. So it's gonna be area equals length times width. And I'm gonna first find the area of the larger rectangle. So I know the length is 10 and the width is 8, so it's going to be 10 times 8. So I know the area of the larger rectangle is going to be 80 square inches. All right, now from there I need to subtract the area of the smaller rectangle. So again, I'm going to write down the formula again, area equals length times width. I'm going to plug in what I know, so I know the length is 7 inches and the width is 4 inches. And seven times four gives us 28. So the area of the inside rectangle is 28 square inches. And then finally, to get the answer, I'm gonna now subtract 28 from 80. So 80 take away 28 gives us an answer of 52. So I know the area of the shaded region is 52 square inches. All right, so that's kind of the theme of, of the problems we're gonna solve. It's basically, you, you gotta try to find the area of, of the shaded region and you're gonna use these formulas over here to do that. All right, so why don't you pause the video and, and try the your turn now problems, and when you're done, hit play, and you can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's say I do this practice problem. So for this problem, we have a big right triangle, and inside the right triangle, we have a rectangle. So basically, we need to subtract the area of the rectangle from the area of the right triangle. So I'm gonna use blue to kind of show, do the first calculation, which is gonna be, we're gonna find the area of this right triangle. All right, and based on our formulas, we know the area of right triangle is base times height. I'm gonna take that number and divide it by two. So now I'm gonna plug in our values. So I know our base is the eight. So it's gonna be eight times, our height is six. So eight times six is 48. I'm gonna divide that by two, which means the area of the right triangle is gonna be 24 square feet. All right, so that's the area of the entire shape. All right, but I wanna now remove the area of the rectangle. So I'm gonna now use a different color and show this is gonna be the, the red part of the image. All right, so to find the area of a rectangle, I know it's area equals length times width. So let me plug in the values. So area is gonna be five times two. Again, five is the length, two is the width. So the area of the rectangle is gonna be 10 square feet. All right, now we're almost done, but this is the most important part. So now to get the area of the shaded region, I'm gonna subtract the 10 square feet from the 24 square feet. And we'll get an answer of, well, 24 take away 10 is 14 square feet. And there's the answer. 
All right, how'd you do?